Hello. So I found a really fun video where a professional recorder player tells us about some big mistakes that adults even make while playing the recorder. And I want to look at three or four of them a little bit more closely. All right, so we're just gonna watch together. Mistake number one, not putting your instrument together properly. It sounds very obvious, but you would be surprised the amount of times I've seen recorders that are not properly put together. For example, playing in an ensemble and someone has their head joint pulled out this much, which means they are that much flat. Also, if you have the joints of your recorder positioned wrongly, it means you're going to have bad posture, it's going to be much more difficult to cover the holes, your technique is going to be all messed up. So take a couple of seconds to make sure that the labium, the windway, is completely in line with those holes and that your foot joint hole is at the right place for your little finger. And then it's going to sound great. Number two leaky fingers. Now I see this in newer students a lot. We get squeaky notes and we think that it's something to do with our blowing or maybe the instrument is broken but 99% of the time it's because one of your fingers is leaking air. A good way to play detective is one by one pick your finger up and put it down firmly to find the culprit. <coughs> And something that can really help is making sure that your hands are in the right position. I see a lot of turned up wrists, which means that it's very difficult for our ring fingers to get to the hole. So you want to have a nice, relaxed, good hand position. That means all of the holes can be closed firmly, but relaxedly. Bringing me to number three, bad posture. Now there are a few elements to posture. It goes without saying that you want everything to be as relaxed and natural as possible and you want to be standing up nice and straight, no slumping. As for your recorder, if you hold it completely vertically, it's going to be really difficult to hold and it's going to feel like it's falling out of your hands all the time. So I ideally play with something approaching a 45 degree angle. This brings me to the elbows, which should be nice and relaxedly around here. What I see a lot are elbows stuck to the sides. We don't want that. Or elbows artificially put in the air like chicken wings. We also don't want that. So everything can stay nice and relaxed, flexible and fluid. And it just puts you in the best stead to play your instrument. So I hope these tips really help you and you can play the recorder even better than you already are. Have a great rest of your day.